Let's take our next call from Juan in Los Angeles, California. You're on with Jamie and Matt. How are you doing? Hi, Jamie and Matt. I'm well. Thank you for asking. How are you guys? I'm marvelous. It says here that you want to help Matt find his faith again. Yeah. Um, um, so why would I want to do that? Him. Can you help me find mine too, or? Yeah, definitely. I just I not to make it about me. Movie, like, yeah. sorry, what yeah, were you saying? No, I'd like to help anybody, the whole community, if I could. You know, um, I'm a young kid. I'm 23 years old. I first started kind of my whole relationship with God when I was 16, and it's been such a huge off and on thing. My dad is a huge skeptic, um, atheist. I think he shares the same belief that you guys do. And if I'm correct, it's the belief where um, because you guys don't know that there's anything out there, therefore you guys say it's nothing. Is that kind of correct? Uh, it's close, but not quite. So when people are just talking colloquially about like, oh, yeah, no, there's no way that happened. It's it's casual, and they're not trying to be as precise as is pretty much necessary when you're debating the existence of God. So it's because, well, I can speak for myself, and I'm pretty sure I know Matt's answer, which is I don't have sufficient evidence or reason to believe in a God. Therefore, I don't uh, hold the belief that the claim there is a God is true. So I don't believe that. However, I also don't, I'm not in a position to say, oh, definitively, there is nothing that could call that could be described as a god. However, I have no reason to to ponder what it would do. So, and I'm convinced that. Uh, oh. So one of one of the things, there are arguments against the existence of particular gods. My favorite, of course, being the problem of divine hiddenness, which is we live in a world where there is not evidence for the proposition God exists which is what you would expect if in fact a God existed. And so that works to counter it. But yes, I'm making no definitive declaration and not claiming absolute certainty. I don't believe there's a God. I don't believe there's anything supernatural, but I'm willing to believe those things if somebody can actually present evidence. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I do want to share, I guess, my standpoint. Um, first of all, I, I'm a Christian, but I'm not any any kind of denominational Christian. I just, I believe it's called non-denominational. All, all I really have in my life is a relationship with Jesus, and that's it. I go based off the Bible. I don't, you know, cling to any rules or anything of that sort. I just do my best to have my relationship with, with God, which I believe is Jesus. And so, um, that was well, that's, a, that's a weird, question. that's a weird way to phrase things. I was going to say, can you be specific about, well, if you just a little bit of clarity, Tell me about Jesus Well, a little bit. like is That's there the same thing I want, but I want to point out the thing in what you just said. Mm -hmm. Because you said that you focus on your relationship with Jesus, who you believe is God. Now, yes. that would, if I ever said, I focus on my relationship with Beth, who I believe is my wife, doesn't that sound like a really strange way to phrase things? Like if I had a relationship with Jesus, you would think that I would be, that I would know that he was God and that this would be something that would be easy to demonstrate. So I'm curious about how you can have a, how do you know oh. that you have a relationship with anybody that you identify as Jesus? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I might have phrased that wrong. The reason why I say I believe that is because I know there's many beliefs out there, and a lot of people don't believe Jesus is God. For example, Jehovah Witnesses, they don't believe that. They just believe Jesus was a prophet. And so what I mean is I, say I personally believe that Jesus is God. That's the way I phrase it like well, that. That's why, why. why do you, I, I, why do you believe there's a Jesus in the first place? You know, We need to know about the yeah. nature of this relationship, I guess, because while I was a believer for many years and would have said things like, I have a relationship with Jesus, I've since learned that that was not true. So we, I need to know what is this relationship and how do you know you have it? So um, my relationship with Jesus is um, based off of a standpoint of uh, taking the, the Bible as a piece of uh, true and historic literature, meaning that okay. it, was it was written down by people who not actually sure lived advisable. there at one point. Okay. Um, you, don't, you don't think that... It seems to me you're saying you begin with the Bible is true, right? Yes, I believe the Bible is true in the Word Yeah, but if you begin with that, of course you're going to believe in God and Jesus. The, the question, all you've done is push the question off. You're, you're just saying, I believe because I believe the Bible is true. But do you have any good reason to believe that the Bible is true, or is that just your starting point? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, 
you know, first I read the I read the Bible and then the things that are in it. You know, the Bible says so that, that it's living that, and active, which means. Sorry to sorry to uh, interrupt. I I am doing that because I think I do that more than Matt. But Matt's question was, why do you start with the Bible? And it sounds like your answer began with, so I start with the Bible, or do you mean I read the Bible to test whether it's true? Because I I believe that that's where you find. Jesus. I believe that's where you find well, God. Okay. I believe that's where you find Jesus too. I just don't believe that Jesus is real. And I don't believe the book that's leading you to that. It's like saying, I have a personal relationship with Harry Potter and I began with the Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah. Uh, the, thing, the thing is, I don't think there's been anyone in history who's ever said, I've seen Harry Potter in real life. Uh, well, you know? first, and, of all, and, so. first of all, that's irrelevant. The number of people who believe something or have professed this belief or written about this belief is irrelevant to whether or not it's true. But I can guarantee you that there's somebody out there who thinks that they have a personal relationship with Harry Potter. And that fan fiction can is... I ask you, can I ask you then, how do you personally believe that anyone in the past is real? For example, maybe you have a great-great-grandfather. How would you believe that he's real? Evidence, birth certificates, etc., stuff like that that show that somebody existed. But here's the thing. Uh, I'm not concerned with whether or not somebody actually existed, and I'm fine with the notion that there may have been a Jesus, but that doesn't necessarily tell me anything about whether or not he had magic powers. And I'd like to piggyback on that, with the, which is like, oh, your grandfather, your great-grandfather who's getting on an age has a story that he tells about what happened in the war, and it gets different each time, or, oh, the fish gets larger each time you tell it. So even three generations back, when you're talking about people that say, I was there and I saw it, Plus, the details and, change, it's not a great source of information. Unless you appeal to an unconfirmed miracle, I must have had a grandfather. Yeah. I I, guess the, it's the not the case that I must have had a Jesus. I, I would maybe, maybe I could try a different approach if that's okay. Sure. Because um, I'm not, I don't want to like debate, you know, I feel like that's what's going to happen, but I don't want to. My, my thing is, if well, I why? could hang on. show you guys. Hang on. No, hang on. Yes. You're convinced of something and we're not. And yes. the purpose of the call-in show is to have these sorts of discussions or debates, and yet you're calling in to yes. say that you want to change our mind, but you don't want to debate. What the hell do you think will work? Yeah. No, what, what I mean by debate is I don't want it to turn into some kind of like, you know, back and forth, each other cutting each other off kind of thing. I'd like to hear your, your standpoint. I really want to hear how you came to your relationship with Christ, if you've had one, and then um, kind of just kind of walk through what that was like and why you stopped following. And so without, you know, cutting each other off or being rude or anything like that, I don't want to be that kind of person. No, we, we, I mean. we interrupt because we're trying to get clarity. And because if we let somebody talk for five minutes, then we have to backtrack that five minutes to get to the first thing that's a problem. It's just the way it works best on a TV show. If you wanted yeah. to have a a more thorough discussion, you can send an email uh, and it, Or you it might can find us on Reddit at reddit.com slash r slash talk heathen. So, so let's see if we can fast track this. Mm -hmm. Jamie and I don't believe there's a God or anything in or anything supernatural. You do. Why? Yes. Because I felt him. Can you clarify precisely what you mean by felt? Because I don't um, think you mean you shook his hand. Because, look, um, well, I just felt Jamie. I, it, that's, I need there's a way we use language. When I say I felt something. Okay. So go ahead. Tell us how you, how you felt this. Um, I, would, I would describe it the same thing as, I don't know if you know, one of you two gentlemen have ever been in love. You know, you can't feel, you can't physically touch. It's not a tangible aspect. It's, it's a, a feeling of love. Oh, and so, so you mean an emotional feeling? Yes, exactly. That's exactly right. So to clarify, so do you I mean it's God. something different than that? Because there are people that fall in love with celebrities they've never met and right. fictional characters, and they... Yeah, I can, be con I can be in love with someone and even be convinced that they're in love with me, and I can be wrong. That, and that's totally okay. I mean, I think that's a part of, you know, why there's so many religions. I, I personally believe that I have, you know, I'm I agree. with the true religion, but that's okay. Yeah. 
And, and I'm not here to say that anyone is, is right or wrong. I'm just saying. Yes, you are. Yes, yeah, you yeah, no, no, no. Stop. Stop. You are okay, here I'm to sorry. say. I just retract that statement. I retract that statement. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, you know, yeah. I, I know yeah. in debates I have to be very careful with words. You're I'm here sorry. to explain yeah. why you're convinced yeah. that you're right. And our job is to explain why we're not convinced. And that, yeah. that means there are going to be questions. But, you know, you, you've gone to this. You started with the Bible. You started with a feeling. I think that we're probably going to part ways on the nature of of what evidence sh should count and what how much evidence should be sufficient. So we'll, we'll try this again, and and I'll stop for a minute. Yeah. Why are you convinced that you have a relationship with the supernatural being? Because I can speak to him. I can, um, you know pour out my heart to him, I can tell him what I'm mad at. Sometimes, I'll be honest with you guys, I cuss at him, you know? I, 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 just okay. how I, so, I can cuss at my dad sometimes. Okay. I, I have well, that relationship. So, here's, here's what I'm going to go ahead and guess. I'm, I'm going to assume that uh, when you cuss at your dad, you get some kind of response from him and that other people could be there and confirm what that response was or that it could be captured on video. Uh, hopefully, it's not too harsh, but... Is there something like that? Like, oh yeah, no, I, I get a response from the supernatural being that you experience? Yeah, yes, uh, there actually is. I mean, it's, it's not going to be something that someone can videotape, but I, in my heart, because it's a relationship through your heart. That's I don't care point. about your heart. I don't <laughs> care what you're convinced of. I care why. The yeah. why is the most important thing. And so you say, well, I can talk to Jesus and I can pour my heart out to him. Well, guess what? So can I. And I can also talk to other fictional characters and pour my heart out to them. The, the yeah. demonstration that there's a relationship is when it's bi-directional, when I am getting clear messages and clear interactions with somebody. And it can't just be a feeling because those, the, the, the guy who fell in love with pick a celebrity. Taylor Swift. May be convinced that that love is being returned. Oh, she loves me, she's just hiding it. She's love, she loves me, she's just doing this and blah, blah. We need to be able to discern what is in fact real. I have no problem accepting that you have feelings for Jesus. The issue is, why would you think that Jesus has feelings for you? And if your only thing to point to is that you feel it, I don't care. Because that's not evidence for the proposition. That's just more evidence that you are convinced. We already know you're convinced. What would convince somebody else? Well, someone else would have to feel. Someone else would have to feel it. Like I think okay. what you guys are asking you, for. You guys are asking for hard, testable evidence. Yes. A spiritual feeling yes. is real. Yeah. Yes. And I, I, I just hope you guys. Yeah, I, I hear you guys. I just hope you guys understand that you guys cannot physically test a spirit. You guys. You guys. Why then should I we hope believe that it exists? No, no. no. Uh, this is the this is the problem. Okay. What we're looking for is evidence that would be sufficient to warrant believing. You're now admitting that no such evidence exists and that you believe anyway, which means you are by definition irrational on this topic. I don't know. Could you, could you break that down a little more? I, I, I don't understand. I, like, are you guys he's, trying he's to... He's saying uh, that you depart from using reason when you come to the conclusion on this question. No, not at all. I, he, he's actually, departed I've from evidence. Huge, Have you definitely. departed from reason and evidence? Like the... the no, because uh, actually my faith is backed up by reason, and and my reason so is evidence. It backed up by Shut, evidence. Stop. Nobody gives a shit about reason either right now. We're talking about evidence. You can have flawed reasoning. You can have good reasoning. But if you have bad evidence that you're making good reasoning on, you're still going to reach unjustified conclusions. What we need is the evidence. Evidence that should warrant accepting the thing that you accept and yet you came back with i hope you guys understand that you can't prove this absolutely and and you guys so you guys can you prove your can, no, can I, you I'm demonstrate it i'm telling you that there's no person that can can prove whether a god is or is not real so you guys, then no, no person that's that an admission you that you that there cannot be a rational evidence-based justification for god Yes. Okay. So, is there a good reason to believe in a God? No, that's the admission. If he admits, well, which he just did, and said yes, that there's no rational, warranted belief in a God, then we're done. 
Well, that doesn't make the conversation over, Matt. Just it does. Because it does, actually. Just because you know what really makes the rational. conversation over? When I say the conversation's over. Here's the thing. So if you believed, if you believed that my Aunt Josephine was a mass murdering child rapist, and I asked you for evidence, and you said, I just feel it, and nobody could actually prove that your Aunt Josephine is this, then I'm going to hang up on you because every point in conversation after that is now a complete waste of time because I care about yeah, I evidence and what's true and you don't. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Matt. And actually, I would ask if you please don't and I could kind of just maybe try a different way. I don't want, I don't want that to happen. I don't want to sound irrational either. Um, what I would like to ask is um, just about, because this faith is is totally based off of faith and faith is not really rational so that's that's why it's called faith uh, so, congratulations so, yeah. you, you just hung up on yourself i so so juan let me let me see if i can i can bridge a, a gap here when matt says irrational unless i'm mistaken it's roughly equivalent to not rational yes yeah so if you that, say that it's that, not rational it matt would phrase that it is irrational So you and Matt agree on that point, it seems. Yes. Okay, I, so... I still believe it to be. I am not interested. I to share that with you guys. Yeah, so, okay. Oh, my God. All right. So... No. no. You, you, how many times are we going to let somebody tell us, I have an irrational belief that I'd like to share with you? Because that's preaching. And this is not the show to call in and preach. This is a show where you call in and present evidence for why you believe something. If I came to you okay. and said, there is no God, and I know this because I feel it, and it's irrational, I can't prove to you that there's no God, but this is what I'm convinced of, and I know it's irrational, now are you going to stop believing? Uh, no, Matt, I mean, just because exactly. I, I have a personal relationship. Yeah. So no, he, no, 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 yeah. no, 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 not because if, yeah. you're, if you're not believing what I just said because you have a personal relationship, um, you need to demonstrate that personal relationship. The reason to not accept what I just said is that it's irrational. Yes. Yeah. So let me jump in here because I, I don't want this to go around and around about the, your specific belief, right? As a quick side note, when one person is, determ uh, is convinced that they love another person and have a relationship with them and there's no demonstration the other way around, generally we call that stalking. But um, I'd like to get to the point where you say, oh, no, it's irrational, but I believe it based on faith. Because at the point at which we are not talking about, oh, having beliefs because of sufficient evidence and good reason, then the the conversation can't really continue with, oh, but I read the Bible or ha I have a feeling. We have to have a conversation about why would you believe a thing, anything, without that, without reason and evidence. Entirely separate from a belief in a God, why would you believe something without sufficient evidence for it? I just... Me personally, I believe that God is just a little well, bit so, outside of our so, own human intellect. And yeah, so, so, that, so hold on, Juan. Hold, hold on. Because uh, I, think, I think maybe uh, this call is sounding a little bit aggressive to you. Because this isn't a question about your God belief. And it's not a question about Jesus. Yeah. It's a question about you and how you come to conclusions. Right? Like if I'm trying to come yeah. to the conclusion that no, my car wasn't broken into, I would go and look at it because then I would be able to confirm that it was or wasn't broken into. And, I wa and if I wasn't sure, I would ask someone else to investigate. I would investigate the solid evidence. A car being broken into is a mundane claim. But mundane or extraordinary or otherwise, I would like to rely on evidence, sufficient evidence and good reason to come to a conclusion. Is that generally the way you live your life? Yes. So is there another instance in your life other than belief that Jesus is God and that you have a personal relationship with him. Other than that, is there any other belief that you hold separate from reason and evidence? Um, I'm not sure I, I understand your question too so, much. You just how many other batshit beliefs do you have that aren't supported by evidence where you appeal to faith and say, yes, it's irrational, but I believe it anyway? 
No, I think this is my only, this is the only one. I think that's a good thing generally. But so I, I, I'd like to encourage you to, to call back in next week because I think we've gone around in circles and it's probably going to be better if we take a breather for seven days or you want to get in touch with us online or you want to like and subscribe. Um, uh, I don't You should also look up special pleading because this is, if this is the one belief that you have where you say, I'm going to throw reason and evidence out the window and just go on feelings and faith. Um, that's special pleading. And so now you're using a completely different epistemological method for this claim than you are any other. And that betrays a hidden bias that you want to believe this. Yeah. So basically, yeah. I, I don't mean to be that guy. You didn't sign up for a class and I'm not a teacher. But if I can give you the homework of examining and seeing like, okay, do I think about this belief, the belief in God, differently than every other belief? Um, and why would I do that? And is that reasoning good? And if you call back in next week, it'll, it'll be Eric and someone probably. Um, uh, but that would be a good thing to examine. And I think that's the next point that needs to happen in the conversation. Yeah, I, I actually, um, I, I can take down, I can like, subscribe and all that. And I can take down any articles you guys may have for me or, you know, pieces of homework you guys would like to give me and I, I'll do it. I, right. I was also going to ask if I could also do the same for you guys, just, just two pieces, um, just things that have helped me. Sure. Um, Give me the, well, so, so here, I don't have the citations off the top of my head. They've put the, the Reddit, uh, in the lower third. If you have sufficient internet access, a little bit of time and not a fear of Reddit, if you can drop it in there, that would be fantastic. Cause I don't have a notepad in front of me to, what, what to you, type things. What are you going to say if you attempt to give us homework, which we did 20 years ago? What am I going to say? Meaning like what, what pieces would I give you? Yeah, like if you give me homework that I've already done. Like if you said, hey, Matt, you should probably go out and learn something about logical fallacies. I'm going to laugh. If no, you, yes, if you yes. say, hey, Matt, you should go read the Bible, I'm, I'm probably going to get incredibly irritated as I'll bet money I know the Bible yeah, better than you and most of the people you know. So yeah. what, what's our homework? Yeah, that's probably true. What's our homework? So what? My homework my homework would be, um, there's a guy, his name is Lee Strobel. Oh my the, fucking God. All right, so hold on. So at that? this point, I'm trying to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, no, no, so, no, 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 no. So, I, I, so Juan, I'm trying to, trying to sort of wrap up this call so we can get some time for other callers, but I don't want this to be yeah. the end of the conversation. I just think the next part needs to be some reflection and, uh, and some of that homework. But uh, at this point, I think I can briefly speak for Matt, though, using different words. I'd yes, rather. he's familiar with Lee Strobel. Here, but, let me tell you, that I'm, uh, I'm not only yeah. familiar with Lee Strobel, the fake skeptic hack who wrote uh, The Case for Christ, The Case for the Resurrection, and all these other things, but when my parents discovered that I'm an atheist, rather than having a conversation with me, they went out and looked around to see who they could find, and you know who they found? Lee Strobel was in town, so they go to Lee Strobel, and they talk to Lee Strobel, and they say, hey, our 30-year-old son or whatever is now an atheist, what do we do? And that jackass sold them copies of his books, which I got for Christmas which I explained to my mother, not only do I already have copies of these books, I've written rebuttals to these particular books. Why don't you find me some apologist books that I don't have? And then about three years ago, two and a half years ago, while I was debating Mike uh, Lacona on the resurrection uh, at an event here in Austin, Texas, Lee Strobel was here and present. Lee Strobel will not debate because he knows he's shit at it. And I also went up to Lee and had a conversation with him where I told him what my parents did and how maybe when people come up and say, hey, our kids are atheists, instead of selling them your shitty fucking books, you should tell them to talk to your kids. So yeah, I'm really familiar with Lee Strobel. This is what I predicted you were going to give me homework that I've already done. Yeah. Oh, and so then that was that was going to be my thing was to watch the case for Christ. Um, and then um, but since you said you already have rebuttals, I would actually like to, to see those. If there's videos and articles, I go, would to like to those dot, because... go to infidels dot go to infidels org and look in the secular web where countless people have written rebuttals to both Josh McDowell and Lee Strobel and all the modern apologists. I find it funny that you're recommending I go watch the Case for Christ, which is a biopic about Lee Strobel, rather than actually reading the book. 
because the biopic on yeah. the man is irrelevant to the arguments about the existence of God. All that is is an argument that he became convinced, just like all you have is an argument that you've become convinced. Instead, I actually read his books and considered the arguments and pointed out where they were flawed. Okay, yeah, no, and I appreciate that, because like I said, I had these same questions as you did, and, and so I would love to right. hear your so, rebuttal, and, and I'm open-minded to it. All right, so here, real quick, uh, before another uh, point of contention comes up, so I'll make it. I'll make a deal with you, Juan. If you post a link, uh, you know, go to I, I don't I don't know why I love Reddit so much, but if you go to Reddit and you create a post and we exchange links for evidence and we do each other's homework as best as can be done in seven days with busy schedules, uh, then after that, when you call in, it'll probably be Eric next week, but it, it might be me. Uh, we can continue to, to have this discussion if that's something you're willing to do. Yeah, that, that's, that's really fair. I appreciate that a lot. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you go. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, see you later. I Exchange and link. Oh, really quick. Oh, right, boy. Just, I, I've never really used Reddit. But, no, I've never oh, used Reddit. Oh, okay. so I just go to reddit.com and then how do I do the, How do I find you guys on there and, and do the post and all that? If you... Uh, so if you go to the, the, um, if you go to reddit.com, there'll be a search bar and the name of the subreddit is talk even, uh, we'll, we'll make this short. If you send an email to jamie at atheist hyphen community.org, um, we'll, we'll exchange emails and, and I'll help get you set up on Reddit if you're okay with that. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah. And, yeah, and cool. fair warning, you will not find me on Reddit. Okay. All right. Well, I will talk to you in a week or two. Not that I'm anti- Bye.